In this interactive guide, you'll see how Defender for Identity can help you identify. To navigate this interactive guide, follow the prompts on the. Next, follow the prompts to build an advanced query to look for this activity. Next, select, scroll down to see more of the page. Let's switch back to the compromised host computer. For an attacker, the next reconnaissance goal is to, the output shows all users in the We'll again investigate by querying the activity log. Follow the prompts to continue. Next, we'll shift our attention towards SMB session enumeration. Active Directory's sysvol folder is one of the most important network shares Click the most The next phase in the attack kill chain is typically an attempt at lateral movement. Let's see what that looks like. Returning to the attacker's point of view, our goal is to reach the target IP address where Samira's computer credentials were exposed. For the purposes of this guide, we'll mimic various Next, enter a command that uses a common tool called Mimikatz to harvest credentials. Next, select File Explorer. Open the text doc. Scroll down. We successfully harvested user runs in TLM hat. Let's close these windows and return to command prompt. An attacker may not initially know who Ron is, or the from the results, we see that Ron is a member of the a new command prompt opens, executing as Ron. We'll use a power exploit command. Behind the scene, this machine has multiple accounts for local. We've successfully accessed admin PC. In the important information section, you can see supporting evidence that the user account is part of a lateral movement path. Follow the Here you can see Ron's logon activities and investigate what resources were accessed. Our simulated attack gave us more than access to admin PC. We also have validated. Next, we'll use a PS exec command to remotely execute Mimikatz. The next command will copy the tickets back over to victim. Select directory. Next, let's clean up our tracks on admin PC by deleting our files. Close the elevated command prompts. Victim PC now has the harvested tickets on it. Continuing as the attacker, first, let's show that the PC's primary user, Jeff, Access is denied. Next. In the same elevated command prompt,
Defender detected theft of Samira's tickets from admin PC and movement to victim PC. The portal shows exactly which resources were accessed using the stolen tickets. It also provides key information and evidence to identify exactly where to start your investigation and what remediation steps to take. The next phase in the attack kill chain is domain dominance. Once an attacker has gained legitimate credentials, now let's use Remote PowerShell to add the new user to the administrators group on the domain controller. We'll call the new user, Inserted User. Continuing as the attacker, let's switch to the domain controller for this organization. Next, navigate to Active Directory Users and Computers. Next, navigate to Users Organizational Unit. Next, locate Inserted User and open its properties. Next, select the As you can see, the new Switching to the description plainly As you can see, the Victim PC, Jeff's computer should never be executing remote code against the domain controller. Let's scroll down to the activity. Next, let's investigate this in the activity log. Using a simple query, we can see the activity of the user being added to the administrators group. Follow the prompts to continue. The query produced. Here you can see the activity of the user being added to the administrators group. Windows uses the Data Protection Application Programming Interface, or DPAPI, to securely protect passwords saved by browsers. And next, verify that the master key file export occurred. Look in the directory from which you ran Mimi as a. Returning to the Cloud App Security Console. We can see that Defender successfully detected the DPAPI attack. Next, click the Run Command activity to see its parameters. Malicious replication is a method that allows. We've just. Returning to the Cloud App Security Portal, we can see that Defender is aware of the malicious replication we simulated from Victim PC. Next, click the Run Command activity to view its. Another domain dominance method attackers use is known as Skeleton Key. With Mimikatz now staged on the domain controller, we've successfully patched the L. Next, let's try to switch the context to Ron. When prompt Skeleton Key, however, adds an additional password to each. This command creates a new process, Notepad. Defender successfully. You can also see the accounts that were involved in this. The assessment report shows sensitive users who are inactive for more than 180 days or expired in your on-premises environment. This and every other assessment contains a link to learn more and create an action plan. You've just learned how Microsoft Defender for Identity can help you identify reconnaissance attacks, investigate attacker behavior inside your network, and provide recommendations on reducing domain vulnerabilities. Thanks for watching. This interactive guide is now complete. For more information about this topic, check out these online resources. In this interactive guide, you'll learn how to safeguard your organization with Microsoft Defender for Office 365. You'll see how Defender for Office 365 can help you configure policies analyze threats to your organization, and respond to attacks. To navigate this interactive guide, follow the prompts on the screen or use your forward and
The improved Microsoft 365 Security Center now brings together functionality from existing Microsoft Security Portals, including Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Microsoft Defender for Office 365, Microsoft 365 Defender, and more. From this centralized location, you can now manage all endpoint, email, and cross-product investigations, configuration, and remediation within a single unified portal. To get started, scroll down the left navigation pane to the Email and Collaboration section. Select po Next, Preset Security Policies. This article explains what each preset policy consists of. Scroll down to see more of this page. Scroll down to the EOP Anti-Spam Policy Settings. Scroll down to take a look. Using conditions, you can apply the policies throughout your organization. Again, we'll apply the policies to all employees. To apply the standard protection settings, review and now let In this case, we'll specify that the strict EOP protections apply to We'll also apply these strict recommendations for Microsoft Defender for Office 365. To apply the strict protection settings, Scroll to see more information. Within each group, you can see the policy. Review the warning message and confirm that you want to make the change. It's highly recommended. Red and green icons let you see at a glance whether the configuration drift for a setting has increased or decreased. You can also create and manage custom policies. Note that if multiple policies are applied to a user, the following order is applied from highest to lowest priority. The strict preset, standard preset, custom, and then default policy. Scroll down to quickly review the individual policies you can configure. From here, you can... This report brings together... Inf Let's return to the email... And the URL threat... The mail flow... The tech view. Scroll down and then open the mail latency report. This report shows all late. Explorer is a powerful near real time tool to help security operations teams investigate and respond to threats. This view shows information about email messages that contain malware. Scroll down to see more of this page. Below the chart, you can see a detailed list of the emails containing malware. Let's invest from the details pane. You can try out a new email entity page with enriched data and additional capability. Here you can see it. This tab provides enhanced. This tab shows. You can also investigate the wider scope. Scroll up the left navigation pane and then expand incidents and alerts. Now, here you can see a list of incidents for your organization. An incident is a collection of core. In the details pane, click the link to open a page dedicated to this incident. The summary tab describes the incident's scope and context. Here you can view. Here you can see a summary of the entities that Microsoft 365 Defender has identified as malicious or suspicious. We can also review e to investigate a specific. From here you can open a query in advanced hunting that looks for more instances or. Here you can see all of the alerts related to the incident, which include Defender for Office 365 alerts. Next, open the Here you can see on the Pending tab, you can review each action. Open the Next tab. The History tab shows actions that you can now perform powerful advanced hunting across all. This table contains all. This table, the email, the email post delivery events table, includes inf Select the box to enter the query. This advanced hunting query finds recent occurrences of files sent by a malicious sender in your organization. Run the query.
Let's open the first record. Here you can see the affected assets, the name and path of the file sent by the malicious sent. Now let's see how you can use custom detection. In this case, a det let's select edit. You can set custom detection. Now let's look at how to test our security policies and practices. If your organization has Microsoft 365 E5 or Microsoft Defender for Office 365 Plan 2, which includes threat investigation and response capabilities, you can use attack simulation training in the Microsoft Security Center to safely identify vulnerable users in your organization before a real attack impacts your bottom line. The Overview tab shows recent simulations, simulation coverage, behavior impact on compromise rate, and more. Scroll down to see more of this page. Next, open the Simulations tab. Here you can see a list of pay This is the list of automated flows you can use for collecting payloads. You've just learned how Defender for Office 365 can help you configure policies, analyze threats to your organization, and respond to attacks. Thanks for watching. This interactive guide is now complete. For more information about this topic, check out these online resources.